I thought being a nurse was the coolest job. For me, law, actually. I always wanted to be a doctor. Um, I thought it was really cool to be an engineer, especially as a girl. Be the doctor. Actually, acting. I think being a computer geek. To read and write reports. <laughs> I'm a client services account manager. I'm an accountant. I'm a product manager. I'm the event coordinator at Softcom. I'm a business development consultant. I'm a developer, interestingly. I'm a human resource professional. I work as a people associate for Softcom Limited. I'm a business development consultant. I'm currently in the marketing department. I'm a journalist and an author. No, none. Personally, no. I wasn't raised in one of those houses where you were taught that anything was out of bounds for women. Growing up, my parents made me believe that nothing was impossible. I got all the support I needed as a girl child. Yes, society made me believe that I couldn't do certain things because I'm female. But nobody really told me that, you know, I couldn't be anything I wanted to be. Yeah, there have definitely been instances where I was left out because I was a woman. I've always been a woman who has particularly liked to show strength. So even if you tried to undermine me regarding anything, I might not even have noticed. No, never. I wouldn't, I wouldn't even allow it. Yep, so many times. So growing up, there were my brothers and my cousins playing football and stuff, but as a girl, I should probably be washing plates in the kitchen and stuff like that. So that wasn't really fair because I also like to play football, but now I've grown up to hate football, so I think I'm satisfied. I believe um, we're at the place right now in our society where women are actually being recognized. Going back to the 1920s, and women could only be secretaries or assistants, and then here we are, here I am. Work shouldn't be the exclusion when it comes to making sure that every gender is properly represented. I think the workplace is changing. I think we get to a point now where people are beginning to realize that you need that, that diversity, even at the top management level. I think that my just being here already adds to that fact. Basically recruiting and retaining a balanced workforce in the workplace. Achievement has no no gender and success has no color. If you're excellent at the work that you do, if you try to do the best that you can, there will be no denying the excellence of your work. It's a crucial time to discuss balance because to have the balance be sick, we have to talk about it. I feel like we could have done this a long time ago, but the next best time is now. People are becoming more aware. So it's important that the world at large begins to accept the fact that women are going to be playing in spaces that we're not playing in.